In this video, we'll look at what happens when we have HClO2 in H2O, chlorous acid plus water. So the first thing that we need to realize is that HClO2, this H in the front, that makes us think this is going to be an acid. So with chlorous acid, you need to know whether it's a strong or a weak acid. So we can memorize the strong acids. That's probably the best way to do it. Here are the strong acids. And you don't see HClO2, chlorous acid, on the list of strong acids. So this is considered a weak acid, since it's not here on this list. Because it's a weak acid, it's only going to partially dissociate or break apart into its ions. So hydrogen, that has a 1 plus charge. That'll be H plus. And the ClO2, that'll be a 1 minus. That's just something you memorize. So it's a weak acid, and it's only partially going to break apart. Because of that, we're going to put this arrow here. This will be an equilibrium. Some of it will break apart, and then some of it will come back together, and they'll go back and forth, but it'll be at equilibrium for that temperature. So we'll have H plus and then ClO2 minus. And we should write AQ after these. They're aqueous. They're dissolved in water. So we put that AQ to show that they're dissolved in water. Same here, AQ dissolved in water. Sometimes you'll see water written above the arrows here. But since we wrote the aqueous, it tells us that they're dissolved in water. So again, since this is a weak acid, it's only going to partially break apart. We'll have some chlorous acid on this side. And then we'll have some of the ions on this side. One last thing. When we look at the H plus ion, what's happening is this H plus, it's going to join with the water molecule. It's aqueous. So it joins with the water molecule and it forms H3O plus, which is called the hydronium ion. Sometimes you'll see H plus written here. Sometimes you'll see H3O plus. They are considered to be equivalent. This is Dr. B with HClO2 plus H2O, chlorous acid plus water. And thanks for watching.